Karibu katika awamu ya pili ya kipindi cha Zilizala viwanjani Shamra Shamra za hapa na pale katika taarifa za hapa na nje ya nchi na hii sasa ni awamu ya pili pamoja na swali letu kula siku hii ya leo nimekukumbusha kwamba uh, bwana Samata usiku wa leo atakuwa anapiga mechi yake ya kwanza ambayo itakuwa ni nusu fainali ya dimba la Karabao chini Uingereza Aston Villa dhidi ya Leicester. Je, Samata utakuwa ni usiku wake kupiga magoli na kuisaidia Aston Villa kufuzu kwa fainali ya dimba la Karabao ama mambo yatakuwaaje? Zungumza nasi kupitia kwa tutu 155 Twitter at Hassan Juma at Bahaj Ahmed alama reni ni zilizala viwanjani. Tulia papo hapo tuendelee kuchachawiza hapa e, taarifa zetu za hapa nchini na hata njia nchi na kwa hivyo sasa twende katika lile ile taarifa ya kuteuliwa kwa bodi mpya ya kusimamia uchaguzi e, nchini Kenya wa FK, FKF hii ni baada ya ile bodi iliyokuwa imewekwa hapo awali kubanduliwa ama kuvunjiliwa mbali na imezinduliwa hii leo bodi hiyo mpya maalum e, jijini Nairobi hii ni moja wapo ya masharti ambayo FKF ilipewa na ile mahkama ya kutatua michezo e, nchini Kenya baada ya uchaguzi wa awali kubatilishwa na miongoni mwa wale ambao wametauliwa katika e, bodi ile ni pamoja na Kentis Tikolo Patrick Matthew eh, kuna Ali Hassan Kauleni mwanahabari wetu kutoka hapa Radio Maisha na tunafahamu kazi yake kubwa na umaarufu wake na heshima kubwa na hadhi aliyopewa na mashabiki pamoja na washikadau wa michezo ndivyo akapata nafasi hii kwa hivyo atakuwa ni miongoni mwa wale wanachama wa ile bodi rasmi ya kusimamia uchaguzi wa shirikisho la soka hapa nchini Kenya FKF itakuwa ni, kum, ni kumteua mwenyekiti mpya na pia mwenyekiti wa matawi mbali mbali e, Alfred Ndinya pamoja na Samuel Karanja ndio wengine ambao wanakamilisha ile bodi e, kutoka hapa kwangu maana kwa rafiki yangu ambaye huwa tuko naye katika masuala ya uchambuzi e, kutuelezea mambo ya soka ni hongera kweli anastahili ile tuzo kwa sababu sifa E, anazo tunajua kazi yake bwana ah, bwana Ali Hassan Kauleni na kama utakuwa na tazama katika runinga yako tutapata ile picha e, inayoonyesha e, kuzinduliwa kwa bodi ile mpya itakayosimamia uchaguzi to lead an election that has been questioned already people don't want to take part and so we have to take to many people and we have to look at representation in a diverse way religion part women part this kind of things but also people who understand football and also people who who have a record of integrity in them even though you have to work for it and we need to work to find that and i'm happy uh, for what next proposed to go to the police and we are here today we've come to the end of that now we have a board and it's been passed uh, by 68 votes normally what we would do is pronounce who the chairman etc but the guideline of fifa says that they need to go and sit and do that themselves it's not the bible of doing it but this time you know we don't want any stories coming from us guys we said put the board in place give them five members let them sit watch aguade wenye watu patie nani anakuacha and i believe on monday is the first meeting you guys will come to with them on monday and from there we know and how to say this to you who wants to run and be in football leadership i just have a small advice you cannot show up on a wednesday morning and be president on friday now from around maybe april may and june there will be an election in every constituency in their own pace within 90 days if you have seven constituencies within your county three chairmen of those constituencies will come and become they will become members of the branch executive this way the link that was lacking between a branch and a sub branch will be there. i am happy and i am asking that uh, kenyans who want to challenge me i am challengeable i think i i am ready to compete uh, with the next individual that wants to come and uh, be president of fkf and i am the humble to relinquish uh, fkf to whoever will come and beat us we are fair people we have repeated election when other people might not have that yeah it's a landmark for us as we discussed the electoral vote basically and unanimous kind of unanimous agreed that the the electoral vote is good after the public participation that was held at the same basically there is a lie that has been peddled that the sub branches were not involved they were involved but we felt instead of appealing we needed to do what the court ordered and we did it so yes they were involved initially but they were involved again and this in 
involvement came through the branches. So the sub branches are, are on board. I can tell you, 99.5 percent of the sub branches are. On Naam kila laheri na utakuwa tunatarajia utakuwa uchaguzi wa haki kwa sababu bodi ile tayari imezinduliwa na maswali yameshaulizwa na majibu kutolewa. Katika taarifa nyingine ni kwamba shirikisho la uogeleaji nchini liko mbioni kuhakikisha kwamba uogeleaji wa Kenya hawafungiwi kushiriki yale mashindano na Olimpiki eh, mashindano Olimpiki na mengine ya kimataifa na hii ni baada ya shirikisho lile la uogeleaji duniani FINA kuipatia Kenya makataa hadi tarehe 29 mwezi Februari mwaka huu kuandua kuandaa uchaguzi kumradhi ama Kenya ipigwe marufuku katika mashindano ya kimataifa ya uogeleaji. Uh, kuna ile ratiba imewekwa ya na Fina uh, ambayo tunafuata. Uh, so ni lazima tu, tuingie katika ile 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 uhusiano mwema na International Federation na ndio mambo yaendele mzuri. Tutafanya hivyo tutakuwa kivyetu tutakuwa kivyetu. Na tukikuwa kivyetu tukibaniwa na Fina bila kudanganya hakuna uh, mahali tutaenda na sidhani kila kila mzazi ama kila stakeholder ama kila coach ama mwanafunzi wote angependa fina itubani tungependa tuogelee katika mataifa zingine mm. Naam na hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyo baada ya baadaye tutakuwa tunakuletea ile taarifa ya Salim Babu mkufunzi wa klabu kile cha Western Stima kuchukua tuzo za S, tuzo ya SJ kama mkufunzi bora mwezi Disemba mwaka 2019 hii ni baada ya msururu wa matokeo mazuri kushinda mechi tatu na kupata sare moja alikuwa anashindana papatu na Robert Matano wa Tasca hata hivyo Western Stima imekuwa na mtiririko mm, mzuri wa matokeo katika kinyang'anyiro cha ligi kuu ya soka wako hivi sasa katika nafasi ya saba kwenye jedwali la KPL wakiwa na alama 30 huku Salim Babu akisema azma na maazimio lake kubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba ile timu ya Western Stima inamaliza katika nne bora kwenye e, msimamo wa ligi kuu ya soka nchini Kenya KPL tutapata taarifa hiyo e, baadaye baadaye inaendelea kutayarishwa na kwa hivi sasa karibu katika e,